In many ways, the following phrase resembles the second phrase as they both begin with a rhythmically identical modified ascending motif and they're both constructed around the prolonged upper line with the earlier phrase prolonging the notes D flat and C and this phrase C. Unlike the earlier phrase, however, this phrase also includes an ascending lower line moving against the prolonged upper C. The lower line begins with a harmony note, G, the fifth of the C dominant seventh chord. The G is then prolonged through the following bar and sounded an octave lower here on the final eighth note beat of bar 22. It then moves to A flat, the third of the following F minor seventh chord. The move to A flat, however, is delayed by the resolution of B flat, the seventh of the C dominant seventh chord. In this way, Parker extends the C7 harmony across the bar line to resolve on the third quarter note beat of bar 22. He then immediately resounds this upper C note, now the fifth of the F minor seventh chord, before descending to sound B natural, the next note of the ascending lower line. Because B natural is the major seventh above the root note of the C dominant seventh chord, and is therefore not typically used over dominant harmony. Parker here moves to D, the ninth, which he resolves to C, the fifth of the following F minor seventh chord. The C also concludes the ascending lower line. The lower C is then prolonged as a compound melody, initially with this A flat, which is approached through a passing B flat from the prolonged upper C. In this bar, the upper C is itself part of a compound melody with D, the ninth of C7 harmony. Here, therefore, the compound melody moves through a minor seventh to a minor sixth and on to another sixth, this time major, between G and E, the fifth and third of C7 harmony. A further compound melody is found here, where Parker uses the same melodic contour as here in bar 14 to conclude the line. In these bars, however, the compound melody is used across two different harmonies, C7 and F7, and includes the correct resolutions of the 7th and 5th of the C7 chord, while in the earlier example it was used over a single B7 flat chord. Parker here also essentially uses the same melodic contour as here, but modifies the rhythm. Although the contour is used across the same two harmonies, in this occurrence the contour begins over F minor 7th harmony and concludes over the C7, while here the chord order is reversed. Here the contour also begins on the third quarter note beat of the bar, whereas here it began on the second. Because of the structure of this line, even with the reversal of harmonies, the notes interact with similar results. The beginning of the following phrase again uses a modified ascending motif, here used as part of a repeating pattern prolonging A flat. The melodic contour of the repeating pattern is constructed so that even when it begins at several different points of the phrase and over different chords, the notes of its contour essentially either arpeggiate or produce extensions of the underlying progression. Here, for example, the notes of the ascending eighth note triplet produce the root, third, and fifth of the underlying C minor seventh chord, while the initial B natural can be heard as an incomplete chromatic lower neighbor note to C. Over the F7, the alternating A flat and G notes produce the sharp ninth and ninth extensions, and in the following bar, they produce the seventh and thirteenth of the B flat minor seventh chord. The following repeating pattern produces the sharp 5 of the E flat dominant 7th, the 3rd, 5th, 7th and root note of the A flat major 7th, and the 7th of the following B flat minor 7th chord. The following repeating pattern here again begins with an incomplete chromatic lower neighbor note to C, which is here the 13th of the E flat dominant 7th chord. The E flat and G notes are the root note and third, while the A flat is the eleventh. Over the following A flat major seventh chord, 
which is the beginning of the repeated 32 bar progression. The alternating A flat and G produce the root note in 7th. Parker completes this phrase again using compound melody, which begins as a minor 6th between the C and A flat. The compound melody then moves to a diminished 7th between A natural, the 3rd of F7 harmony, and G flat, the flat 9th, before moving to a major 6th between A flat, the 7th of B flat 7 harmony, and F, the 5th. Here Parker uses the descending motif, which, unlike bar 3, contains the 7th A flat instead of the 13th, but still ends on the 9th of the B flat 7th chord. This phrase then begins by prolonging a single A flat pitch before its upper line descends, supported by a compound melody through G flat to end on F, the fifth of B flat 7 harmony. The first two bars of the following phrase begin with the same melodic and rhythmic ideas used over the same progression in bars 5 to 7. Parker then uses the modified ascending motif to initiate a compound melody which begins as octave B flat notes the ninth of the underlying A-flat major 7 harmony. The upper B-flat is prolonged as the fifth of the E-flat minor 7th chord, creating a major 6th with D-flat, the chord 7th. This 6th then moves to a minor 6th between C and A-flat, the third and root note of the A-flat 7 chord. The upper line then descends to F, the upper note of a major 3rd interval between D-flat and F, the root note and third of the D-flat major 7th chord. Along with the notes of the compound melody, Parker also includes a lower line, which essentially prolongs C, firstly as the third of the A-flat major 7th chord, then as the 13th of the E-flat minor 7th, before becoming the third of the A-flat 7th and resolving to the root of the D-flat major 7th chord. The final F flat note can be heard as an anticipation of the G flat dominant 7th chord 7th degree. Parker begins the following phrase using a rhythmically altered ascending motif, which outlines an ascending arpeggio as 8th notes. Through the next three bars, Parker borrows ideas from the line he played over the same progression in bars 12 to 14. In these bars, however, he rhythmically displaces and alters his original line while keeping its notes as a melodic framework on which to elaborate. For example, this octave descent from E flat in bar 12 began on the first quarter note beat of the bar and included the F7 chords 7th, 5th and 3rd degrees. Here, the descent now begins on the third quarter note beat and still includes the 7th and 5th of F7 harmony, but the A natural and E flat are now played over B flat 7 harmony producing its sharp 7th and 11th extensions. Parker also rhythmically modifies this triplet and descent from G flat to D natural. Here the D half diminished 7th arpeggio, which in bar 13 produces the 3rd, 5th, 7th and 9th extensions of B flat 7 harmony, has its F note omitted while the following move through a compound melody to A flat is the same in both occurrences. Here, however, because the whole line begins two quarter note beats later than in bars 12 to 14, the final A flat is sounded as the seventh of the B flat minor seventh harmony. The A flat note is then the beginning of another compound melody, which begins as a minor seventh between the root note and seventh of the B flat minor seventh chord, before moving to a perfect fifth between the third and seventh degrees. The D flat then becomes the seventh of the E flat seventh, while the upper line moves to G flat, the chord sharp ninth. This perfect fourth then concludes as a minor third between C and E flat, the third and fifth of the A flat major seventh chord. The following phrase begins with Parker using a modified descending motif, while the rhythm in first three notes are identical with its original form in bars two and three, the descent is stepwise and not arpeggio based. From here, this descent also shares melodic and rhythmic similarities with Parker's line from the same progression in bars 17 to 19. Here, for example, the E flat to B flat descent, which was initially played over A flat major 7 harmony, 
producing its fifth, third, and ninth degrees, is now played over two different chords, producing the seventh of the F7 and the root note of the B flat 7 chord. The A diminished seventh arpeggio, which in bar 18 produced the third, fifth, seventh, and flat ninth of the F7 harmony, here produces the major seventh, ninth, eleventh, and flat thirteenth extensions over the B flat 7 chord before moving to its third and thirteenth. In bar 53, Parker begins with the same modified ascending motif as he used over the corresponding C7 chord in bar 21. Here, however, the motif is used beginning on the third quarter note beat, and the D flat and C notes are now rhythmically augmented through a compound melody to resolve on the root note and third of the F minor seventh chord. The following phrase, after beginning with the modified ascending motif, is identical with the line Parker played over the same progression in bars 25 to 27. The final phrase also begins with a modified ascending motif before continuing with a compound melody moving sequentially as major 6th and diminished 7th intervals over the two 5 progressions. This section of melody is almost identical with this line, although here Parker lowers the D natural to sound the 3rd of the B flat minor 7th chord. Parker's note choices ensure this line can be played either over two dominant 7th chords, the F7 and B flat 7 in bars 34 to 35, or as a sequential 2-5 progression which precedes the F7 with its supertonic C minor 7th chord, and which changes the B flat 7 chord to B flat minor 7, the supertonic of the dominant E flat 7 chord. When the extra chords are included in these bars, the line still correctly resolves all extensions. The sevenths resolve to the third of the F7 and E flat 7 chords respectively. The thirds resolve to the root notes of the B flat minor 7th and A flat major 7 chords and the flat ninths resolve to the fifth of the B flat minor 7th and A flat major 7th chords. As in bars 15 to 19, the upper line of this compound melody moves through a chromatic descent here from A flat to E flat, the fifth of A flat major 7 harmony. From here, Parker then ascends through a line which can be heard as an extended A flat major 9th arpeggio, but which when played over the final 2-5 progression produces the 9th of the B flat minor 7th and 13th of the E flat 7 chords before concluding on the 9th of A flat major 7. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.